the Imperial Family of Japan, currently consisting of 17 royal members, owns a stunning collection of jewels. Today, we'll examine the top 10 exquisite pieces of the House of Yamato. The Japanese Imperial House is the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy in the world, with 126 monarchs over its extensive history. Stay on to know about the most showy pieces belonging to the Japanese royal family, spiced up with jewelry traditions of the land of the rising sun. Prepare for tons of glitter, diamonds, pearls, and surely royal tiaras. Want to see an iconic Japanese crown that's not actually worn by any royal lady? Stay with us for more glittery surprises around the corner. Imperial Regalia Japanese three sacred treasures are symbols of imperial authority, which consist of a sword, an ancient jewel, and an octagonal mirror. They are not typically worn, but are highly revered. The Divine Japan's royal regalia are stored in boxes and wrapped in cloth. Their condition and look are covered in mystery. The fact that these treasures aren't publicly displayed adds mystique and authority to the objects. Even when the current Emperor Naruhito acceded to the Chrysanthemum throne in 2019, he inherited the wrapped-in-cloth imperial regalia. Fun fact, the phrase, three sacred treasures, has come into modern pop culture. First, it related to the newborn technology in the post-war era, the washing machine, television, and refrigerator. Now it's used to describe 5G AI and 4K resolution. Are you interested in whether Japanese monarchs have crowns or tiaras? Indeed, it's hard to imagine sophisticated diadems with traditional kimonos of the land of the risen sun. Unlike other royal families, Japan has no crowns in its regalia. There's actually one crown widely famous in Japan, but it's not in the royal family's possession. We mean the famous Mikimoto crown. It is a pageant crown worn by Miss Universe title holders. You might have heard its other name, the Phoenix Mikimoto crown, which sounds more official. It served for the Miss Universe coronations from 2002 to 2007. It's quite hefty, weighing around two pounds, made of yellow and white gold with 500 diamonds and 120 naturally white pearls obtained in Japan. The traditional Asian design comprises motifs of mythological phoenix feathers and Japanese Buddhist iconography. Let's return to the House of Yamato now. For formal occasions, the royal ladies wear adorable tiaras set with exclusive white gemstones, diamonds and pearls. Pearls are closely related to the tradition though. Japan has a long-standing jewelry culture, and Japanese people pass on their heirlooms from generation to generation like pearl necklaces. Children get them as a gift when they become independent or leave their hometown. Whether they study, work, or marry, the pearl necklace will be their adult accessory, a symbol of adulthood. Thus, you can spot occasional pearls in the royal diadems. Let's start with the Imperial Chrysanthemum Tiara, which features a significant imperial symbol in its design. The Imperial Chrysanthemum Tiara The stunning diadem belongs to the current Empress Masako. The stylized 16-petaled chrysanthemum combines modern design elegance with traditional symbolism. It's considered one of the most important Japanese imperial symbols. It's a national symbol, emblem of the House of Yamato, and badge of the senior chivalric order of the Chrysanthemum. This tiara is special. It's reserved for the Japanese Empress. Empress Nagako, the longest-serving Empress consort in Japanese history who died in 2000, deeply loved the Chrysanthemum tiara. She often wore it during her husband's Emperor Showa reign. When her son, Emperor Akihito ascended to the Chrysanthemum throne in 1989, his wife, Empress Michiko, inherited the tiara. She frequently wore it on diplomatic and formal family occasions, often with her adorable diamond chrysanthemum earrings. Empress Michiko started wearing this striking pair in the 1990s. 
The earrings feature a modern diamond cluster in the shape of a chrysanthemum, making them highly symbolic. Sparkly diamond chrysanthemum earrings are a Japanese crown heirloom, and Empress Michiko passed them to Empress Masako. Empress Michiko suffered from neck health problems, and the considerably light platinum chrysanthemum tiara was among her favorites, unlike the Meiji tiara she had to stop wearing as years went on. The Meiji Tiara This magnificent diadem is one of the most important Western-style jewels in Japan's royal family. It boasts an exquisite design with a scroll motif, showcasing the artistry and craftsmanship of a jeweler. It was created in the 19th century of gold and silver, which makes it heavier than the chrysanthemum tiara. Empress Haruko of Japan, the wife of Emperor Meiji, was the first member of the royal family to wear the tiara. The occasion was related to Europe. It was the official incorporation of Western dress at the imperial court in 1887. The tiara can be worn with two sets of toppers, large round diamonds or diamond star elements. Here, Empress Haruko wears the Meiji tiara with a set of diamond stars. When Emperor Yoshihito ascended to the throne in 1912, his wife, Empress Sadako, obtained the right to wear the Meiji tiara. She preferred to wear the diadem with the round diamond toppers. Here, you can see Empress Sadako's first formal portrait in a Western-style dress. The next Japanese royal lady, Empress Nagako, wore the tiara in three different ways. With the diamond stars on a state banquet at the Imperial Palace in 1963, with the round diamond toppers on a state banquet during her visit to the United Kingdom, and without extra diamond settings on a state dinner at the White House in Washington, D.C. in 1975. The current Empress of Japan, Masako, debuted the stunning sparkler on the day her husband ascended to the throne in 2019. Let's proceed to the remarkable figure in the history of Japan, the British-born Japanese aristocrat, Princess Chichibu of Japan, and her splendid pearl tiara. Princess Chichibu's Pearl Tiara Prince and Princess Chichibu from Mikimoto commissioned a jeweler to create this striking art deco diamond and pearl tiara in 1936. The design features hanging pearls set in diamond arches. Princess Chichibu debuted the tiara at a festival banquet at Mansion House in London in 1937. She visited the United Kingdom with her husband for the coronation of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. Princess Chichibu liked to pair the pearl tiara with her pearl necklace, like she did in the 1960s, for a dinner with Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace. The classic pearl necklace symbolizes purity and elegance, and it's now in the possession of Empress Masako. After Princess Chichibu died in 1995, her sister-in-law, Princess Mikasa, wore the adorable pearl tiara at the New Year's Court in 1997. Afterward, the diadem hasn't appeared in public for over two decades. Diamond Honeysuckle Tiara This intricate tiara has been worn by the Imperial Ladies of Japan for at least two generations. The first was Setsuko Matsudaira, the English-born wife of Yasuhito, Prince Chichibu. She wore the diamond sparkler with a coordinating diamond necklace in 1928 for her wedding ceremonies. Since the couple had no children, the diamond honeysuckle tiara returned to the imperial vaults after the princess's death. Nearly a decade later, Empress Michiko also wore the tiara, but slightly differently. She chose a more open style, which means the precious headpiece features an adjustable frame. She put it on for the occasion of a visit to Sweden in 2007. Tiaras of Akishino Princesses the Japanese imperial house gained new jewel-wearing family members when Emperor Naruhito ascended to the chrysanthemum throne in 2019. The Akishino household, headed by Crown Princess Fumihito, the current emperor's brother and heir, has three imperial princesses and a growing tiara collection. 
Princess Akishino Kiko Kawashima. When she married Prince Fumihito in 1990, Emperor Akihito presented them with a separate household, the titles of Prince and Princess Akishino, and an imperial symbol for Kiko, the Iris Setosa. The Akishino tiara, part of her diamond wedding perua, also includes iris flowers in its sophisticated design. Princess Akishino has been wearing the Akishino tiara for gala events for three decades. Now let us explain one important point that might have bothered you by now. Why haven't we mentioned any brand or a particular jeweler creating the royal diadems in Japan? Isn't there some Japanese Cartier or Van Cleef and Arpels? There are obviously a lot of skilled jewelry manufacturers in the land of the rising sun, but the Japanese Imperial Household Agency isn't willing to highlight the diadem's provenance. They are meticulously tight-lipped about details of the Imperial family's possessions. The Imperial Household Agency tightly controls the uniformity of clothing and jewels in the royal family. The Akishino tiara is created of white jewels because white is a sacred color in Japanese culture. This is highly symbolic, meaning the diadem is blessed. Princess Akishino got this tiara as a part of a parure, so she also has the matching necklace. She likes to match it with simple earrings. Princess Akishino and her husband, Prince Fumihito, have two daughters, Princess Mako and Princess Kako, who also got diamond jewelry parures for their 20th birthdays, both inspired by the iris. Here, we can note the uniformity of the jewelry sets of each Japanese princess. It's part of Japanese tradition, since 20 years is considered the age when a person reaches adulthood. Princess Mako's Tiara Princess Mako received a suite of jewels and a stunning diadem by the Japanese jewelry firm Waco for her 20th birthday. The tiara boasts festoon and floral designs. Though the diadem's motifs recall some design elements of her mother's wedding tiara, its profile has been compared to the Queen Mary's lover's not tiara. Princess Mako abdicated her royal title to marry her longtime boyfriend, Kei Komuro. They met when they studied at Tokyo's International Christian University. After the wedding in 2021, the couple moved from Tokyo to New York City. Now, Komuro works at a law firm. Marrying a commoner, Mako declined her dowry of nearly $1.4 million, becoming the first Japanese royal lady to do so since World War II. Her diamond tiara also returned to the imperial vaults. Princess Kako's Tiara Princess Kako got her 20th birthday diamond perua in 2014, together with the Order of the Precious Crown. It consisted of a stunning diamond fleur-de-lis diadem, a matching mirrored necklace, a diamond bracelet, a brooch, and earrings. It's Mikimoto, the renowned Japanese jewelry brand specializing in cultured pearls of impeccable quality. The floral and festoon elements of Princess Kako's tiara also echo her mother's tiara design, but here the iris motif is even more prominent. When her sister Mako married, Princess Kako of Akishino became one of the highest-ranking Japanese imperial ladies. She wears her adorable floral tiara at all important state banquets. Japanese Crown Princely Wedding Tiara This grand tiara is special as it was worn at two of the most significant royal weddings of the 20th century. Large and curling diamond scrolls reign in the charming design, while diamond ribbons hug the stroll base and tiny buttons come to the point where the scrolls are joined. The buttons recall chrysanthemums, a symbol of the Japanese monarchy. Pearl Sunburst Tiara Crown Princess Masako chose it as her primary tiara and kept it among her favorites even after becoming the current Empress of Japan. The magnificent diadem was created of top-notch diamonds and pearls by Mikimoto in 1960. Her first wearer was the former Crown Princess Michiko. She wore the Pearl Sunburst Tiara during her visit to the United States in 1960 while meeting President and Mrs. Eisenhower at the White House. When another American head of state, 
President Reagan came to Japan in the 1980s, Crown Princess Michiko also put on this gorgeous tiara and a matching brooch. The design of this glittery diadem nicely echoes the innovative side of Japanese culture. As you can see, there are many striking diadems in the Japanese royal jewelry collection. It coincides with the ancient traditions. As we've rounded up our overview of Japan's royal family tiaras, let's swift to the opulent diamond brooches that often complement the royal attire. Empress Michiko Brooches Intricate brooches from Empress Michiko's jewelry box add a touch of sparkle and sophistication. Her brooch collection might compete with the one of Queen Elizabeth II. From the enormous diamond brooch Empress Michiko wore at the annual New Year reception at the Imperial Palace to the sophisticated diamond brooch with leaf and star designs, her tastes in precious clips are impeccable. Both these jewels are elegant daytime pieces, and both of them are made of prestigious white stones following the royal tradition. Empress Michiko's Diamond Necklace Our sparkly review of the most iconic jewelry pieces of Japan's royal family would be incomplete without this dazzling diamond necklace. Empress Michiko frequently wore it during her reign, highlighting her elegance and regality. The opulent necklace features a modern design of paved diamond abstract scrolls. The necklace is one of Princess Michiko's few personal pieces of diamond jewelry. In her official portrait in 1971, she paired with the diamond scroll tiara. This is only a small part of the iconic jewelry pieces of Japan's royal family. Do you find it similar to the collection of the Western World Royals? Do you want us to delve into the imperial vaults of Japan and tell you about some particular lady's jewelry box? If yes, please leave your comments. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more content like this.